it was all a little bit petrifying for everybody because, I mean, honestly, yes, yeah, we were going out on a limb to bring back Frasier, and the only person who knew it was going to be okay was me, so, you know. <laughs> cheese on that? No. <laughs> Ranger Crane is an enduring character, I, I, I think, because he's so earnest. He's in it with his whole heart, 100% all the time. He is as alive as the life itself. Checkmate. <laughs> and day to day, or week to week, or year to year, as I've lived with him, he remains entertaining. May I take your poncho? <laughs> Trying to make a point, I wish you would just make it. Okay. The gift of this iteration of Frasier, this show, has been to remind me how much fun he is to play, how wonderful that same sort of sincerity he has about life sort of bleeds into my life and, and my desire to entertain. And to use this character as, you know, my mirror up to life, as New Journey is now to sort of bookend the discovery he had with his father's life and that relationship now transferred to his son's life and the roles have been reversed. What possible excuse can you have for not being there with your family? I'm not sure I understood what success was at all when I was younger. There were numbers, there were moments of attention and celebration that I felt unworthy of receiving. I had to wrestle through that. This part of my life, I don't really think of it as being success so much as just being of service. That's the way I like it. There are some nuances of damage that come with just, you know, sort of the traffic of life. 38 was a pretty tough year for me. <laughs> I do still feel as though I'm younger than I was then. My children have a lot to do with that. My bride has a lot to do with it. My beliefs have a lot to do with it. I'm comfortably devoted to living a full life and are in a relationship with God, in a relationship with the loves of my life. And uh, I just want to be a productive human being. The only thing that would shock my teenage self, because I was actually rather an extraordinary teenager, <laughs> is that it's just as much fun as it was. But the only advice I would give is love with your whole heart. That's the right recipe, I think, for living well. <laughs>